In a complicated series of parliamentary maneuvers today, Pinellas County Commissioners blocked further discussion of a dredge and fill permit extension for Tierra Verde until January. The parliamentary jockeying began when Commissioner Lewis Homer attempted to convene the commission as the Water and Navigation Control Authority to consider placing another permit extension request on the January 14th agenda. Commissioner A.L. Anderson, longtime opponent of fills, objected on the grounds the commission had a heavy agenda and should avoid dredge and fill matters until the next regular meeting. Homer's motion was defeated, but he did succeed in getting both the firm and Betts fill permit and the Tierra Verde extension hearing placed on next month's agenda. Anderson was against any discussion of Tierra Verde, but lost a bid to rule out further evidence presented by attorney Baya Harrison. The board accepted the documents and will consider them when the matter is raised again next month. The city council here in Tampa recommended trees today, only to find out trees are already ordered for the convention center landscaping. Councilman Conrad Johnston said the convention center should be decorated with some citrus trees, as would be befitting for a Florida city. But this afternoon, Councilman Manuel Fernandez stopped to tell Park Superintendent Herman Massey about the suggestion. Massey told Fernandez he ordered citrus trees two months ago to be included in the landscaping. He even showed the spot chosen for one of the trees. The rest of the landscaping is moving toward completion. Massey's men have about an acre of land planted with shrubs, trees, and ornamentals worth nearly $60,000. And he is especially proud of a Perotus Rotai hanging over the fountain pool. Hugh Smith, Channel 13 News, Tampa. Jim Ruddle, Channel 13 News, St. Petersburg. This part of Pulse has been brought to you by Greyhound. <laughs> Go oh, Greyhound and leave the driving to us. Anheuser-Busch sets a record today, turning out his 10 millionth barrel of beer for 1964. Appropriate ceremonies mark the occasion at the Bush Gardens Hospitality House. Plant manager Paul von Gontard welcomes civic leaders to the plant to mark the first time a brewing company ever has produced such quantities of beer in a year. The Tampa plant produced about 1 million barrels during this 12 months. The 10 million barrels would float 20 ships the size of the Queen Mary. Commission Chairman Ellsworth Simmons received a souvenir gold bottle of Budweiser from the 10 millionth keg from Von Gontard, as did uh, Channel 13 Salty Salt. You'll hear more about that in just a moment. 17-year-old Milledgeville, Georgia boy is in critical condition at a Sarasota hospital tonight. Injuries suffered when his car smashed into a bridge on US 41, just north of Port Charlotte. He's identified as William C. Lee. James Bonner, Jr., also of Milledgeville, told authorities he and Lee both were driving south on 41. He looked in his rearview mirror and saw Lee's car strike the bridge. Next in view, Pulse Sports, containing details on that upcoming teacher's golf tourney, right after this message. <laughs> Someone you know would give the world to have a Kodak Instamatic camera outfit for Christmas. Kodak Instamatic 100 outfit. Instant loading, built-in flash, costs less than $18, complete. And it says, open me first, for lasting pleasure all year long. Go, 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 go Greyhound Racing at the Tampa Greyhound Track. 11 races nightly, matinees, Saturdays, and holidays. Daily double first and second races. Sorry, no minors. <laughs> 